All right, it's finally the big day. Picking up the Supra from getting tuned. Uh, I didn't record when I dropped it off because I didn't really care. It's been there for a week. They had to ship the ECU out to uh, the tuner to unlock it and then get it back, do the dyno tuning here, get everything calculated and done. Um, I was gonna go uh, meth, but I like when he was explaining it to me, it seemed like a lot of complicated stuff. So I decided not to. I kept it on 91, so I think I should be like roughly at 400, 450 horsepower to the wheel. If I would've gone meth, I would've been like at 500 even, maybe a little bit more. But uh, I actually just decided today that I'm gonna be uh, bagging the Supra uh, later in this future, maybe the, um, by the end of the month or in a couple of months from now. But we'll see. Right now I gotta go pick it up. It's a 47 minute drive, so I'll pick up the vlog um, when I get there and we'll see how everything goes. Finally picked her up. No more check engine light, thank God. Went with ECU tech, the best you can do with the Supra. Um, so right now I'm running a base map. Over time, he's set to email him to get the full maps unlocked. I'll be building power as I go. Um, I'm waiting for an E85 map to come out in the later future. Once it does, I will definitely be freaking getting that to be at 500 volt horsepower. And look at these JDMs right here, geez. Dang, not bad. That looks nice. FRS, let's go wide body STK or something. Damn, not bad. So let's give it a downshift. The burbles are a little bit louder. The car definitely got faster. Overall, this tune was amazing. And <clears throat> I'm running a base map, so I had to do some data logging. And eventually, he said I'll be at my full potential, uh, the full horsepower potential of this car. So uh, I think it's a, a month of data logging that I'm gonna be doing with him. And after that, this car's good to go. Right now it's like pretty fast for what it is, but he said it'll get even faster. So that's pretty sick. So gonna be testing out some things. Uh, still waiting for my street arrow wing to show up. It was supposed to arrive yesterday, but UPS being crap, uh, it's now scheduled for next week on Wednesday. So that kind of sucks. I wanted to go pick it up or something, uh, but I don't mind waiting a while. But that's gonna be a fun video. That video is gonna be very long, by the way. That spoiler install and all that. But it's gonna be very fun uh, on my end with Freddy. So let's see what let's see what we can do before this car gets wrapped. Uh, hopefully it's not too windy. I, I think it is. But uh, I'm gonna give you guys some revs. See what you guys think. But overall, I am really happy with how this car is coming out. The tune is really good. I can't wait till we do some data logging, like I said. But I'm gonna go ahead and give you some revs real quick and uh, see how that sounds. So sadly I couldn't get uh, any flames or actually I don't even know um, I haven't driven the car yet at night obviously But um, he said I might get some flames here and there coming out but not like constant like how I had with the Mustang or anything But uh, eventually there'll be a tune for that but he said uh, it'll blow your turbo and I don't know how much a stock turbo for this costs, um, but I do plan on upgrading the turbo in the like future. Not right now, obviously. Um, uh, there isn't any kit out for this car yet that has been tested or that I've heard of. Everyone's running stock turbo at like 600 wheel horsepower, 700 if anything. But like, they did a lot of crazy stuff. Like I know Adam LZ, uh, he has like a high horsepower Supra, but as you guys can see, he like ruined his whole div. He destroyed it. Obviously we built it because you know he has the money for it. I don't know how much a diff is for this car and I don't want to go through headaches like that right now at this moment. Especially with the whole COVID going around. Uh, that's not my truck engine by the way, that's uh, traction. Um, I currently have it off right now just to see how it feels. Um, I haven't done any serious pulls but I do plan on to maybe tonight, obviously not on camera. Uh, just testing for me, um, you know. And then uh, I just checked the little plugins down there. I had to sync it to my phone to see why it says continued driving possible chassis. So he's done something serious. Uh, I've seen uh, other BMWs that are tuned by BM3. Oh God. I've seen other Supras tuned by BM3 that come out with that same code. So I don't think it's something serious. The car's still driving fine, but uh, when he lifted up the car, he does a quick inspection. And uh, Toyota 
didn't tell me when I serviced it, but uh, they apparently like, I forgot what it was, but it's like a little sensor on the spring or suspension that broke off and they like glued it back on. Like a little, I don't, I don't know what it was. Uh, if I had the picture, I'd show you guys. So I'm gonna take it back to them probably next week when I'm done working. And hopefully it's not there for another week or two because they kept my car there for a week or two. It was kind of annoying. But uh, yeah, you know, this, my, this was probably the end of the YouTube video. Let me know what you guys think about it. Let me know what you guys want to see. Uh, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. I have a lot of big ideas, so you don't want to mess out on this build for sure.